Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to go about resolving an invalid drive error code 1327 when installing or uninstalling programs on your Windows 10 computer. So this could definitely be a frustrating issue. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the start menu. Type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best results, you can go back to registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now, before we proceed in the registry, I would suggest that we create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. So in order to create the backup, it's very simple. You just want to go ahead and select the file tab and then export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Export range, keep that at all, and then save it to a convenient location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, it's as simple as just selecting file and then import and navigate to the file location. So again, very straightforward process, guys. And now we're ready to begin. So we're going to start off by double clicking on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the software folder. Same thing for Microsoft. So double click on that. Locate the office folder. Double click on that one. And then depending on what version of Office you're running, it might be 16, 19, 13, etc. Just want to go ahead and select the corresponding number for that. So we're going to select 2016 here, so 16.0. And there should be a delivery folder under here. If not, you're going to have to right click on the 16 folder or whatever number, again, your version of Office is. And then select new. And then select key. You want to name this key delivery exactly how it appears on my screen here. Hit enter your keyboard to save that. And now on the right side here in a blank area you want to right click, select new, and then select string value. You want to name this value local cache drive exactly as it appears on my screen here. So again local cache drive. Cache is spelled C-A-C-H-E. First letter of each word should be capitalized. Hit enter to save that. And then once you have that, we're going to go ahead and double click on it. And now for value data, you're going to type in whatever your drive letter of Windows is installed on. If you're unsure, you can go select the File Explorer icon down in your system taskbar down here, or you could search for it. And then if you select this PC on the left side, you can see a little Windows icon above the hard drive. And in parentheses, it has C, which means that is our hard drive here that Windows is installed on. So we're going to close out of here. And in the value data field, we're just going to type in an uppercase C. If it was a different drive letter, you type that in instead and then select OK. You're going to have to close out of here, restart your computer for the change to take effect. And that should be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.